Hi there, this is Holly with Hollyland Imagery, and I'm going to walk you through using my Painterly Perfection finishing action here in Photoshop. So I know that the Painterly style is all the rage these days, and all of the Facebook groups I'm in, the biggest, most question I see most often is how do you do the Painterly style? Good news and bad news. I'll give you the bad news first. There is no quick, easy button type answer for you um, in order to do that. However, the good news is this action will help you. Um, in creating a painterly style image, there are lots of different elements that go into it. So lighting matters, uh, shaping your light in Photoshop matters, the colors you're using matters, but then also your finishing process matters as well. And this is a finishing action for you. So we're going to work on this adorable image of a girl wearing her tiara. And what you see in front of you is an image I have already edited in doing any um, skin retouching, skin smoothing, uh, all of the light shaping, and then also any local color adjustments. All of that has already been done because like I said, this is a finishing process that we're doing here with this painterly perfection action. So I'm going to go ahead. I have it highlighted here in my actions panel and I'm going to press play. And it takes just a couple of seconds to run. As you can see, it creates these four layers here in your layers panel. So that was a big change already. You know, if we turn it off, and then on, you could be good to go. If this works for your image as is, easy peasy, right? However, I'm going to show you how you can also modify each of these layers if your image does need it. So this bottom layer here titled matte is lifting the blacks here in the curves. So in order to make any um, adjustments to your image if need be, I would recommend taking this middle dot here and moving it along the diagonal. So if we pull it closer to the blacks, you can see what happens there. If we pull it to this quadrant here, so you can see that change, you still have a matte texture going on. If you come up here to saturation, I have desaturated this by 10 points for you. Some images don't need that. Some maybe need a little bit more so you can play with the slider or you can even just turn it off. Then we move into our shadows and highlights. These are your color grading layers. So your shadows have been cooled and your highlights have been warmed. If you need to make any adjustments here, I would modify the levels on each of these layers. So I'm on a Mac, so I will press Command L and you would take this little center triangle here. And if you wanted to make the image cooler in the shadows, you would pull it to the left. And if you wanted to make it a little bit warmer, you can pull it to the right. On this, I'll probably still keep it a little bit more towards the center. On the highlights, same thing. Command L, and then you can pull it this way to warm it up, or pull it this way to cool it down. Now, this is not the last step in my painterly images, I do add textures as well. You don't have to by any means, but just to at least show you the difference adding texture makes. I'll turn that on there for you. So off and on. And then I can bring you back down to the beginning. So this was before painterly perfection. This is with painterly perfection and then also adding textures. Have fun, play with it, and then let me know if you have any questions.